Hi, I'm Anaisha Jaykumar, and I work for Schweitzer Engineering Laboratories. Today, I'm going to show you how Accelerator Meter Report software can be used to visualize your system data and use that to drive down the costs of operations. Accelerator Meter Report software comes standard with seven reports and the ability to customize any report for your application. The seven predefined report templates are the device overview report, load profile, energy balance, wages, which stands for water, air, gas, electricity, and steam, two VSSI reports, which stand for voltage, sag, swell, interruption, the summary and detail, and the sequential events recorder, that's the SER. To try any of these reports for yourself, you can download the demo version from the SEL website and follow along with this video. In this video, we'll be using the load profile data to trend demand over a one month period and then use that data to understand the processes that are creating those demands to drive down operation costs. When I run the software, it shows me a message notification letting me know that user passwords haven't been enabled yet, but I could choose to do so. I click OK and navigate to the reports in the software. In the top left, I select the LDP report, and I see metering points populate which have data in them. For this example, I'll select the corporate office HVAC metering point. And I can select up to eight quantities. So for here, I'll select demand quantities and three phase voltage. So I select WD3 del and QD3 del. I can also select the three phase voltage quantities here, VA, VB, VC. Once I have the quantity selected, I scroll down and select a date range for this configuration. I'll select last month, and for scaling, I can select primary and kilo. This can be different from the settings in the meter, which gives me more flexibility while creating the report to customize it for a specific application. Right at the bottom of this interface, there are two options, create report or create chart. The create chart option lets me interact with the data, which is the HMI version of it. And the create report creates a static report ready for printing. I'll start with the create chart option and see the data. Here you can see a trend of the demand quantities for a period of one month. To find the absolute peak of this, I select series and then the max checkbox option. The annotations on the screen then tell me that the max peak demand occurred on 7th April at 1.15 PM, and the maximum recorded was 50.95 kilowatts. I can use the time scroll on the top of the screen to zoom in to an area which I want to focus on. And I can turn off any other quantities to rescale the data. For example, turning off the demand quantities makes the voltage channels show up larger on the screen. Now that I have the data of interest, I can select the Create Report option. There's a slight difference between the Create Report on the top of the screen and the one on the bottom left. That's right here. The Create Report on the bottom left simply considers all the data in the selected configuration date range. But to create a report only of the region of focus, I select Create Report on the top and LDP Report. So here I have a report ready, which can be used for operation analysis. That's how easy it is to transform metering data into action.